but I hope her fingers go down. <laughs> I mean, she used to have such nice fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and then she starts doing jujitsu. Then they're all just, just, like, just be. Just, just hey, it could be worse. She could have been a professional shooter because ha- you. There yes. are no professional shooters who don't have jacked up hands. Yeah, like, that's true. When like even like for me, but like, yours look good. They look good, but they hurt all the time. Oh really? So, like, I get up in the morning and I like. Is my that like wi- arthritis in your hands? Yeah, my wife says it's like living with like the Rice Krispie treats elves because it's just <laughs> snap, crackle, pop every morning. Really? Like, yeah, laying in bed, just crack, 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 and then once I do that and I run them under hot water for a few yeah. minutes, then they work again. So. Oh, I think I'm getting a text message. She might have heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, anyway. Just kidding, honey. I love your hands. <laughs> well, this is gun talk live. This is hand talk live. <laughs> Brought to you by Palmetto State Armory. Say Palmetto. <laughs> I, I was thinking the exact wow. same thing. Okay. Oh, that's you, great. This is so. Talk, <laughs> speaking of small hands, we have this new shotgun. <laughs> it'll make your it'll make your hands look huge because it's small. Because it's small. Right. It's only eighteen inches. <laughs> well. Part the of barrel is, is 18 yeah. inches. Caleb Giddings, we're talking heritage firearms today. New branding. Yeah, Let's absolutely. Start, I want to okay. start with that because I, w- I go over to the booth. I'm walking with Laura, and I'm like, well, that's not the heritage that I, n- I saw that's last right, yeah. year, like even. And so it's all new rebranding, and it looks great. It's up to date. Yeah. So we rolled out the new branding uh, last year, actually, so maybe pay yeah. better attention. But, uh, I probably should. <laughs> but So we rolled out the new branding last year, and what we're really going after with Heritage, because we have you know the three brands yep. in Taurus, is Heritage is delivering you know the guns from the movies that your dad loved, right? Yep. That iconic American Western sort of branding, that feel with everything. And because we've had the single action revolvers, the Rough right. Riders in there forever. So this year we're like, all right, it's time to start expanding the brand past yeah. that. You know, uh, 22 revolvers are great and we love them and we sell lots and lots of them. Oh, yeah. But because everybody that buys one buys like four. Oh, yeah. Uh, we sell loads of them, but we wanted to start moving into some other products and things that, you know, people like that are into. And one of those things is coach guns. Guys, yes. coach guns are cool. <laughs> coach guns are awesome <laughs> and, I, and and when we looked at this one first when it it came out of the case i was like oh my gosh and it looks like a man it looks like a short barrel shotgun it really it's, does it does look like a sawed off shotgun it i mean does. if you wanted to take you know if you wanted to file a form one and take a few inches off the barrel and do it in that order you file the form could. one first you could make this a really short shotgun but honestly so what we have it's got an 18 inch barrel it's got cylinder bores yeah um, it's very much like it's you know it's it's as simple as you can get right. There's yeah. not a lot of mechanical stuff to get wrong in this gun. It doesn't have automatic ejectors because right. we wanted to be legal for cowboy action shooting. So you've got okay. to, you know break it open and like shuck them over. Have you seen the cowboy action shooters? Oh, they do go. This? <laughs> yeah, they no, it's jerk wild. It back. They freaking break the yeah. gun open and they go yeah and like yeah. <laughs> eat that stuff <laughs> over their shoulder. I'm like, how are you doing yeah. that? I'm it's telling wild. you, like it is wild to watch it. But this is this is. So I'm sitting here, and my next, next question, you kind of already answered it, was who is this for other than the guy that just was like, this is cool? I mean, so it's for any – so realistically, it's a collecting gun. It's a yes. I want to have a side-by-side shotgun because I like the Old West. You know, this yep. is for the person. They've already got a Rossi R92 rifle, yep. and now they're like, all right, I want to complete, like, the cowboy oh. gun See, trilogy. They need, a, they need a bar keep. Exactly. They, they need the new Taurus Deputy single-action revolver. Oh, yes. They need one of these. So it's for that person. Legitimately also, though, it can be for people who are like, I want a shotgun for home defense, but yes. I want the least complex mechanism that you can possibly yeah. get and that's a side by side uh, double barrel yeah. and it has the right. it's got the twin triggers in it too so if like in theory if you want to load this with two shells and then hit both triggers at the same time it will fire both why, barrels at the same time why would you want to do that why, maybe why, why maybe you? you want to turn something into a pink mist. maybe maybe know. it's a maybe it's a pumpkin or something maybe you're riding shotgun on a stagecoach in Chicago and yes. your stagecoach is actually an armored car I don't know you construct your own get, scenarios yeah, you construct it uh, you build it and yeah this'll, exactly we, hey we built it take care right? of it yeah you built it um, so <laughs> I can't get over that now I'm thinking of a stagecoach going through the middle of Chicago <laughs> Caleb, <laughs> Caleb Caleb's <laughs> sitting <laughs> next door on it next <laughs> next to the driver we can have Laura drive it yes exactly She'd run that stagecoach. Absolutely. Yeah. 
All right, so what else we got going on here? So, again, it's pretty much your meat and potato shotgun, uh, double barrel, uh, cylinder bore, three-inch chambers. So if okay. you really want to yeah. hurt your shoulder oh. and put two three-inch magnums in this thing, you could. I'll uh, pass. Yeah, same. What's the coating on it? The coating's a black oxide coating, okay. so it's very it's uh, corrosion-resistant, that yeah. sort of stuff. The stock is actually walnut. So it's a beautiful it's stock th right. in, in the uh, in the checkering that you guys did on it. I don't mm -hmm. know how many LPIs that is, but it's it's, it's some, phenomenal. Yeah, it's I'm not the guy to ask about LPIs. <laughs> what I do is they're like, "Hey Caleb, how does this checkering feel?" And I'm like, yeah. "Ooh, not aggressive yeah. enough," or yeah. "Ooh, too aggressive." This is just right, exactly. I mean, as far as like you you know, kind of getting a little tacky feel to it, but still that smooth finish. One of my favorite features on it is the low, the, honestly, like I know it's silly, but like the way we did the Heritage logo on the bottom yes. of it with uh, uh, the way it's kind of cut into that with the big yep. H over it, yeah, looks that really looks sharp. On that point, but I'm going to have Benjamin jump in here and, and check out that logoing and everything that you guys have done on that. That's awesome. Dude, yeah. That's really good job. Yeah, the gun. gun the gun itself looks super sharp. It shoots great. Are they available now? They are available right now. Okay. So, well, the first batch of these is already... So, we actually launched this before SHOT Show. Right. Uh, the first batch of them is already shipped out to dealers. It's out in uh, out in gun stores right now. Okay. Uh, MSRP is around 800 <sighs> um, That's awesome. Yeah, and like, you know, you're, again, you're talking about... Actual wood, yes. uh, an actual wood gun, double triggers, a tang safety, all of the stuff that you want in a coach gun yep. for a price that is commensurate with the way the gun's built. And also, you know, like, I had somebody tell me, he's like, oh, I remember when coach guns were $500. I'm like, that was 15 years well, ago. Yeah. Inflation happened. That's not going to happen. All right. Yeah. Start talking about this mayor's leg real quick. All right. So <laughs> this, this is, is, this is pretty nuts. All right. So this is the new heritage mayor's leg. We just brought this out earlier this year. It is a 22 long rifle. It's part of the settler family. So this we is have, a 22 long rifle. Yeah. Jeez. So we have three guns in the settler family. We've got the 16 inch carbine. Yep. The twenty inch rifle and then we have the mayor's leg because uh it's awesome. Like people say, What is this gun for? What, what would you use this gun for? Because that's what I would say to be awesome. Say, it's awesome. Yeah. Because look we're in such a weird space in the industry where a lot of people are like, Oh, well every gun has to be have a reason to exist. Right. Okay, fine. <laughs> fun is a reason to exist, and <laughs> this gun is. is fun. We had this out we've had this out at a couple of events now, and everybody who picks it up and shoots it goes this is great. They end up with a smile on their face, and that's Absolutely. what you want out of every single one of your guns. If your gun doesn't bring a smile to your face, next, please. Yeah, exactly. Come on, let's go. But no, so you get 10 rounds of 22. You actually get more than, you can actually jam more than 10 into the magazine tube. It makes the gun less reliable, but it yeah. is designed for 10 rounds in the mag tube. Um, you know, your classic iron sights, this faux case hardening finish, yeah. uh, the short, obviously, the mare's leg style stock, inspired by Steve McQueen in the Rifleman, of course. Uh, okay. So I was wondering if you're going to bring that up. Of course I, I mean, you kind of have to. Yeah, you absolutely do. But this is absolutely... Uh, can you do snake shot out of this? See, that would yeah, be... Yeah, absolutely. That could. would be great. Yeah. You could run, like, 22 LR snake shot. You could run that out and of they, that. And they do have uh, holsters out here for these. Yeah. Yeah, we actually sent one. Of, we sent one of these over to, uh, I think it was Desantis, who's going to work on like a legitimate Steve McQueen style. Really? Like, yeah. No rifleman. kidding. Uh huh. That'd be freaking awesome. All right. So wait, price point. What are we looking at on oh, this? Oh, you asked me about the gun I that I see. don't see. I, I you can pull the, out a price sheet or I, something if you got. I, I mean, I know you got in there. So I like, had the price point ready to go for the so Badlander, color but, case hardening. Mm -hmm. All right. So how does that work as far as like? Um, are you corrosion ask me resistant oh. stuff like that. I was, I was like, oh god, he's going to no, ask I'm me an engineering ask you, question. Like an engineering question. Uh, it is more corrosion resistant it than is. just yeah than other things. Okay, it's obviously there to look nice. Right. Um, your MSRP on this is under five hundred bucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Four eighty four. Ninety nine. Well, I mean, it makes sense, and I mean, because it is shorter. Yeah, exactly. It costs less money when it's shorter. <laughs> it costs less money. That's, That's like, why my wife got such a deal on me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good, I can't believe she paid. <laughs> well, I mean, she's paid in a lot of ways. Yeah, she's paying in a lot of ways. Yeah, that's true. She's at home right now with our four-year-old. Oh, so God oh bless she her. is paying. Yeah, she's extra. Paid, yeah, a hundred percent. Well, good deal, man. I, I don't. Know, what else? You, what else does Heritage have going on, and what what do you anticipate from them in the future? So, like right now, one of the things that we're doing is with the barkeep, or not the barkeep, with the Rough Rider. Yes. Right. We have because the gun is basically modular. Uh, we've got a tactical Rough Rider rifle. So we have it's a 
six shot revolving uh, like single action style, but it's got a 16 inch barrel, but it's threaded. Right. You can put stock. Really? Yeah, it's silly. It's but it, again, it's, it's back into it's that. It's silly, but it, no, but it's back into that. This gun exists to be fun yeah. category, right? But we do tons of limited editions on Heritage, yeah. so you know we'll have them with like American flag grips. We did a series uh, celebrating like great heroes of the West, like Bass well, Reeves and, and stuff Anna, like that. Annie Oakley, yeah, like, that we, was, we did those. That, yeah, that little barkeep was phenomenal. We've got a t so we have a ton of uh, we have a ton of cool stuff on that line, and yeah. then we're also looking to expand. So I can't say like specifically, right. but let's say hypothetically, you had just launched lever action rifles and 22 long rifle on Heritage. Heritage. It might make sense that maybe that's a sign that there's more lever actions, maybe yeah. in calibers that are, you know, the primers in the center instead. <laughs> you, you, like, not right? on anywhere. Yeah, you know, not not around the rim. Yeah. So you might you might call that like a center fire rifle, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> call me crazy. But but I mean, it would make sense as far as the transition and and, yeah. and especially with the rebranding of Heritage and the growth of uh -huh. the company. So are you going to start shooting some cowboy action? I, I you really I, should. I already have. So I have a Taurus deputy at my gun at my dealer right now, waiting for me to go pick it up. Really? I've got. I already have an R92 and 357 Magnum. So I'm going to. You get know a how fast that you probably would be able to run that? I am really excited. Because aren't there targets like this? Big? Oh, they're enormous. They're the size yeah. of a house. Yeah. And I'm going to get one, get a bad lander, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go shoot a cowboy action match. Let's see what happens. Real. Oh well. So any cowboy action like. I know that they have to have a name. They oh, have I ha ha you have a cowboy name. I have a cowboy name. So, fun fact, I'm a life member of the Single Action Shooting Society. Okay. And f people who have been following me for a while know that I used to be a big uh, Vespa scooter enthusiast. Uh -huh. So, my cowboy action name is Vesperado. Oh, my God. <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> Dude, that's a that, good isn't thing. it great? No, it's a shame. I actually I sold I, my scooter because I actually wanted to like pull up to the cowboy match with like rifle scabbards on, on the scooter and boat. like me. <laughs> I'm here to do cowboy things. <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah, Vesperado. I told I met the people who run that's the Single Action incredible. Shooting Society, and I yeah. told them that, and they were like. Honestly, that's a great name. Like, it really that's is super clever. I'm like, thank you. I thought that's it was because awesome. Caleb Giddings <laughs> is clever. Yeah, and also like a little bit uh, not right in the head. No, that's accurate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Where can they go find out more about Heritage? Hey, for more on Heritage, you got to go to Heritage Manufacturing online. Okay. Uh, we're all over, all over social media. Just search for Heritage Manufacturing. Yep. That's the only one of our brands that isn't shadow banned, so you can actually find oh, it nice. easy on social media right now. Wow. So Just start putting everything over there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. That's Gun Talk Live. We're brought to you by Palmetto State Army. We're going to be back with more. We've got some more exciting stuff coming very soon. Thanks for watching Gun Talk Live. For more great gun content, subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. You can always watch the Gun Talk channels on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon. And of course, you can always find us at guntalk.com. Thanks for watching.